Well, hi, good afternoon, everyone. This is Patricia, and I'm traveling for history. I'm in Weybridge, Vermont today, which is in Addison County, and what did I see but the Weybridge Cemetery. So, love this entrance. These beautiful uh, stone pillars holding these old gates. Since I didn't know I was going to be coming across this today, I don't know anything about it, but at least I have a name. Alright, so... U.S. War Veteran. That doesn't tell us. Didn't he squat, does it now? How about what it says on his head still? Levi W. Sturtevant, Corporal, U.S. Army, 1896-1975. Well, let's see. He could have fought in the First World War, definitely in the Second World War, even Korea. I don't know. Mildred W., wife of Levi W. Sturtevant, Sr., April 7, 1899, to... October 25, 1982. And Levi Walter Sturtevant, Jr., Vermont, Major, um, first airborne BG-327 Infantry, I don't know what BG stands for, World War II, March 17, 1921, to May 3, 1969. A.R. Com. Wow. I'm sorry. Harold Dewey Elmer, Vermont, Private STU Army TNG Corps, World War One. March 13, 1899, summer 10, 1968. I'm sorry, I don't know what some of those things stand for. But I do have some viewers who graciously uh, tell us um, uh, in the comments, which I love. And uh, if you folks are watching, which I hope you are, um, please enlighten us. Someday I'll know these things, but I'm not sure when that someday is going to be. So we can see this is a huge cemetery. I'm not sure how many acres this is, but uh, big enough. Silas Wright Elmer, 1827-1907. Harriet Jewett, his wife, 1832-1907. So I, I uh, was just in another cemetery uh, Twitchell Cemetery in New Haven, which is the next town over. Uh, there were a lot of people with the last name Wright buried there. I mean, a lot of people with that name. And I had to wonder if, if Silas Wright Elmer were any relation. And Harriet Jewett, holy cow, how many of those uh, covered bridges up uh, between Enosburg and Montgomery did I film where they were built by the Jewett brothers? Any relation? Hmm? I have no idea. She could have been, she would have been about the right age to be uh, maybe an aunt to the Jewett brothers, but I don't know. Elisha Lawrence, born February 1, 1809, died March. 181873 though lost to sight to memory huh what does this say so lost to sight to memory was that Dean this word right here I don't know. Is it clean? 
Be, it's me. Let's see if anyone else is buried here. Yes. Eliza, wife of Alicia Lawrence, born December 1, 1808, and died January 17, 1872. No one on the back side. And Olive, wife of A.G. Bentley, born December 16, 1781, died April 3, 1854. Wow. That's insane. And uh, we can see that it is an obelisk, the Egyptian symbol of eternal life. Dana and Sarah, wife of Eliezer Dana. He died November 1838 and uh, she died in 1818, I think, erected by their daughters, which is illegible. Beautiful though, aren't they? Aren't they just lovely? this cemetery goes here but actually it's even bigger than that it goes over on the other side and it's newer uh, headstones newer style of headstones what you see here and um, I'm not gonna walk that much of this because I have some other places to film today I just happen to come upon it don't we love coming upon cemeteries <laughs> oh yeah we do so we see dr. David Packard born in 1792 and died in 1850 Charlotte Hatch wife his wife um, died in 1879. She was born in 1796, though. Azro Ashley, son of David and Charlotte Packard, born in 1824 and died in 1843. And Polina, or Pelina Packard, born 1827 and died in 1892. On a side note, my grandmother was born in 1892. Not here, but still. Certainly interesting names. Asif Drake died June 30, 1876, 45 years. And Mary E. Foote, wife of Asif Drake, died April 5, 1901, aged 71 years. On these headstones, the woman's maiden name is, is uh, put on them. It's great for genealogy, I have to tell you that. Sylvester S., son of Samuel and Sarah A. Jewett, died December 18, 1868, eight years and 11 months. Wow, I'm so sorry. Sylvester S. Foote died April 26, 1887. He was 87. On this side, we have Abigail, wife of Sylvester S. Foote, died June 10, 1863, age 63. Sylvester Foote Jewett, son of, oh, son of S and S. A. Jewett. Yes, yes, these were, the, these were the Montgomery Bridge Builders. Died December 15, 1868, nine years old. Oh, that is so exciting, so exciting. I love when things come together. So it stands the reason that Harriet was indeed Harriet Jewett, we just saw over there, was indeed uh, related. Phoebe, wife of Sylvester S. Foote, died September 14, 1873, aged 70 years. And then we see the top portion of this. It's not, uh, it's, it's sort of an obelisk. Um, we can call it an obelisk. It's a different style of obelisk. Um, so, yeah. Wow, that is so cool. I, I, you can't imagine how much I really liked that moment. 
Let's come over here and look at this nifty uh, grave marker. I love this style. I've seen this only one other time that I can recall down near the Middlebury Cemetery. And you know, I'm, I'm near uh, Middlebury, Vermont. Captain Merrill T. Sampson, Company uh, 15th Vermont Regiment. Oh, com excuse me, Company I, 5th Red Vermont Regiment, born July 12, 1840, killed June 3, 1864. He has fought a good fight. He just missed his birthday by a little over a month. And so artistically done. It's beautiful. Nothing on this side. And this is D. Give me a moment. Eliphalet Sampson. Born September 15, 1811, died October 15, 1880, asleep in Jesus. Aksa M. Curtis, his wife, born May 21, 1815, died August 19, 1885. I would imagine, oh, this is just going to say, yeah, U.S. War veteran. Yeah, that's useful. But we know that would be the Civil War, American Civil War. Another uh, another uh, veteran over here. I think it's a veteran anyway. Let's go see who it is. George Cole, 1896-1977. Does this give us something better? It does. American Legion. John A. Drake Jr. here, who went by Jack, 1946 to 2010. So a pretty, uh, a pretty new burial. I mean, 12 years old compared to a lot of these we've been looking at. Daniel Thomas Drake, 1979. I'm guessing an infant. <sighs> More drinks over here. I'm guessing a tractor is coming. Yes. <laughs> Quintessential Vermont is heading our way. GEA Farm Technologies Cool, capital H O U L E, in case you were wondering what that said. <laughs> I wanted to come over here and take a gander at the view from the cemetery that their descendants can see should they visit.
Look at all the leaves in the ground. That's just, as much as I like to look at the foliage, I wouldn't want to clean up the leaves. Been there, done that, don't want to do it anymore. So we see those with the leaves, the foliage right there, and look at this one. No, it's not turning at all yet. Interesting. All right, let's go take a look, see if this one is clearly broken <laughs> down here. By the way, if you're going to traipse around a cemetery with a lot of leaves on the ground, beware of ticks. And also, you won't be able to see if there are any holes you're about to step into. And one bad hole can ruin your day. I think the last thing is maybe cook. That headstone has definitely seen better days. <laughs> yes, cook. Okay. You can see another one that has uh, had a bad tombstone day. In memory of General Joseph Cook, who died December 30, 1828, in the 79th year of his age, maybe 79. Does it tell us which war? No, it does not. Could have been the uh, American Revolution, could have been the War of 1812. Hmm. Don't know. All right. Well, look at this design over here. Isn't that gorgeous? Wow. Lucinda, the beloved wife of S.L. Sprague, that's Silas, this is grape right there, died May 7, 1864, aged 51 years. He died in 1879 at 68 years. This is Patricia, and I'm traveling for history. If you like my content, please subscribe to my channel. It makes my day. You can't imagine the woohoos I do at home when I see that someone new has subscribed to my channel. I'm on social media, all the places you are, I am too. Even TikTok. Traveling for history, 1L and traveling, of course. And um, except for Twitter, where I'm traveling for high one. Traveling for HI numeral one just to change it up a bit. <laughs> As I said, this is Patricia and I am traveling for history. Until I see you again, I hope you have an absolutely fabulous day. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.